Hey guys, Dan here from CLE Tech, and today we're going to take a look at some of the top home tech for March 2017. Before we get started, in order to ensure that you don't miss my latest videos, be sure to turn on notifications for my channel. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you decide to hit that subscribe button too. So our first item is a 55 inch 4K Roku TV from TCL. Now, when most people quote unquote think of great TVs, they think of high-end brands with super high-end prices. Well, TCL is looking to break that trend with a really good panel for nearly half the price of its competitors. The TV itself doesn't try to do too much in terms of its looks or designs. It's really well built with premium looking materials surrounding the border of the panel. Now you do get two legs as the base of the TV stand, but I usually mount all of my televisions, and so I only really put them on for this video, but they seem to work just fine. There are plenty of I.O. ports on the sides and back of the TV, but overall it's a clean and very functional 4K looking TV. Where this TV draws its praises is from the UI, and that's because it's a Roku TV and it has all the features baked into the TV that a typical set-top box from Roku would have. The navigation menu is clean and fairly customizable. You can add all of your apps, or in this case Roku calls them channels, in one scrollable list and also rearrange set apps to your liking. You also have access to the Fandango store to download 4K TV and movies on demand. Personally, I'm a huge fan of this layout for many different reasons. I think it's pretty easy to navigate around, menu, and to find whatever it is that I'm looking to watch. And if you don't agree, well, you can always hold down the search button on the remote and speak into the mic for your search inquiry. Speaking of the remote, the remote itself is also pretty nice. It is a standard Roku remote with your navigation buttons on the front and volume buttons on the side. My favorite part of the Roku remote is the headphone jack. This is great because we use this TV in our bedroom and when my wife is asleep, I can easily plug my headphones into the remote and then get all of the audio from the television right there from my remote. Finally, you're probably wondering, well, how good is this 4K display? It's half the price of the competitors. I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best, but it is not bad at all and definitely worth the lower price tag. Certainly, if you are comparing the TV panels to a Samsung HDR 4K TV or an LG OLED TV, you're going to notice a huge difference, especially if they're right next to each other. Now, out of the box, the picture wasn't great. I did dive into the settings menu, though, and I did notice that the input picture settings definitely needed some tweaking. And after doing so, I noticed that when the TV is actually playing the content back in 4K quality, it actually looked really good. It gets the job done for what my needs are and for what most of your needs might be, and I really do enjoy it. You can pick up this TV right now on Amazon for $499, and of course links to this and other products will be featured in the description below. This next product is definitely an interesting one and probably one of the stranger items that you will see in the channel. Yes, you are looking at my toilet for a reason, and actually you're looking at the toilet seat because it's a bidet from our friends over at Bio Bidet. For those of you who don't know what a bidet is, well, I'll leave you with the definition. Okay, so now that you guys all know what it is, and poop jokes aside, I never thought that I would ever get a bidet, let alone review one on this channel, but our good friends at Bio Bidet sent one out for us, and the Bio Bidet A8 actually has a lot of tech packed inside. So for starters, this bidet can go over your existing toilet, provided that it is elongated bowl style. The bidet has a ton of different features and options on the provided remote control, but before we get into that, in order to actually activate the bidet, you actually have to be sitting down on it. There is a smart sensor on the seat itself, and it recognizes when someone is sitting down. Therefore, you won't have any accidents and no water will be spraying back at you. Then, after you press the necessary buttons, the bidet will start doing its thing. It's obviously very difficult to see what this would look like unless you did what I did for this video and cling wrapped the entire toilet bowl in order to not get sprayed in the face but also see what it's actually doing. There are tons of features and options on the remote like the ability to control the temperature of the water, the pressure levels, location of the water, etc. There is also a very useful nightlight built into the seat for those nightly trips to the bathroom in which you can't see and you also don't want to turn on the light because it's too harsh on the eyes. Now this particular model is all electric and it's rather expensive and I'm not saying that you should go out and get this model. I believe it was described to me as the Cadillacs of bidets coming in at around six to seven hundred dollars. But Bio Bidet did tell me that their $99 A3 model is non-electric and does lack some of the extra features, but it definitely gets the job done just as well. And honestly, 
I've never used one before and being my first time, I really don't know if I'm gonna be able to go back to normal. So I really like this bidet and it's kind of become part of my life. Now, some of you might find this strange like I did at first, but as I said, I actually love using this now and I understand why people from other countries thought it was weird that we North Americans don't do this. I highly recommend checking out the cheaper model first or hell, jump right into the Bio Bidet A8. Either way, links are in the description below. Finally, the last item is the Amplify HD Smart Router. Now this router can act as a standalone router or with a couple of others paired up, it can act as a wireless mesh system. For this video, I did not use any mesh points. I just have one Amplify HD router and I have to admit it did a great job of covering all the dead zones in my house and kept my signal strength consistently at near max speeds. This is great considering the dead zones and or inconsistent network speeds have been a huge problem for me in my house. I've tested quite a few different smart routers over the last few months, ranging from Google Wi-Fi, Google OnHub, Starry Station, etc. And with the Amplify HD, I noticed that the dead zones were no longer dead, and the speeds were a bit slower than the rest of the house, but they were still really good. The good thing is the rest of the house had very consistent speeds, coming in always just above the maximum number that I was actually paying my service provider for. The Amplify HD is probably one of the cooler design routers that I've tested recently. Something about this all white cube that really adds to the decor in your house. It looks kind of modern, but it also doesn't stand out too much. You do have all of your necessary ethernet ports on the back, but the coolest thing to me is that it's powered by USB-C, which was actually totally different and not the norm until I started using something like the Google Wi-Fi. Another nice touch and something that looks kind of cool is the light that wraps around the base of the router. Does it help Wi-Fi performance? Nope, but it certainly looks cool. The UI on the router itself is simple and gets you all of the relevant information that you might want quickly and efficiently. Your main screen gives you the time and date, but if you tap through the UI even further, you'll see things like the total megabytes of data used, your different IP addresses, how many devices are connected to your network, and of course your network speeds. Of course, this is a smart router, so there is an Amplify app for your phone so that you can monitor things like the network speeds and connected devices, router performance and throughput, and you can also set up guest networks. And what's more interesting to me is that with that guest network, you can actually put a time limit on how long they can be connected to said guest network. You can, of course, give them unlimited access, but if you want to be cruel and only give them an hour of your precious bandwidth, you can if you choose to do so, all from the comfort of your phone and on the couch. Honestly, I've tested a ton of Wi-Fi routers, like I said before, but this has been one of the routers that I've gone back to on a consistent basis. You can pick up the Amplify HD wireless router for only $135, of course, that's at the time of this video, which is definitely worth it with all the features and the cool design and great network performance. So that's it for the episode of Top Tech. I might try to do this monthly and just pick three random tech items that I use on a daily basis from my house. And of course, if you do like this video and want to see more, please let me know in the comment section below. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this one or others that I might have in the future. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.